Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? It's Matt here. Today, I want to talk to you about how to know if your launch will be successful. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you're like a reader of mine recently. You're at that point. You've got a product ready. You know this product will change people's lives. And the question you ask yourself now is, will my launch be successful? Now, how can you know if your launch will actually be successful? Well, this the exact question, like I said, that I got from a reader at mattmcwilliams.com. Here's what she wrote to me. She said, do you have criteria for, quote, what should be in place, end quote, to judge whether a launch would be successful or not. She went on to write email list numbers, Facebook page likes, etc. Here's the thing. Human beings are intrinsically wired to do things that they have a certain guarantee of success of. I read a, a book recently called Into Thin Air, and, and I learned that even Mount, climbing Mount Everest, only, I say only, 1.6% of people die. In fact, you've got a 98.4% survival rate, climbing Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, 50% of people who start climbing it reach the summit. That's a pretty high success rate for something so amazingly difficult. In other words, you're 31 more times likely to reach the summit than you are to die. Sounds appealing, right? <laughs> We want to know if we're ready to launch. We want to make sure that everything is in order to guarantee success. But here's the harsh reality, or, or perhaps this is a promising reality, depending upon how you look at it. You will never, ever, ever be ready to launch until you actually do. Until you actually launch. So here's how I responded to that reader's question. I'm going to read ex my exact email. Here goes. Who freaking cares what should be in place? Yes, that's exactly what I wrote. Who freaking cares what should be in place? Launch now. The longer you wait to launch, the more doubt will creep in. The more you'll tweak the product and the offer, et cetera, et cetera. Don't get me wrong. I am all for testing but test while you are alive. Test while you are making money. Test while you are making an impact, not sitting on your hands. I then asked this reader to define success on her terms. Don't define success on other people's terms. You know, what, what is success, right? So I continued by telling her, and this is what I wrote. I think what you're doing is super important, so do it. I would also ask you to define success. Is it a $1,000 or $100,000? Is it changing the lives of five people? Is it getting a start and making your dent in the world? Is it blank? And I said, what is your blank? Whatever it is, define it in your way, by your metrics and no one else's. Yes, we can have all sorts of metrics, and we've got, in fact, just today I was working on a, on a spreadsheet for a client of ours, for Michael Hyatt, and I was per making a model of, of what his upcoming launch is going to look like. We can accurately predict sales within 10% typically, maybe a little, a little bit higher sometimes, 20%, but that's a pretty fair, you know, think about it. We're predicting a million dollar launch and it turns out to be 1.16 or, you know, 942,000. It's very accurate based on list size, engagement levels, all that stuff. We can do that, but who cares? You know what, uh, whatever number I tell you is going to be the number you hit, then, you know, that's what you're aiming for. So whatever number I tell you, whatever number I say, like, you know, okay, this is going to be a $100,000 launch. You know what? They're, part of the reason why the launch ends up being that way is because it's kind of what you're aiming for. We're also innately wired like that. We're, we're innately wired, you know, to, to hit what we're, we think, you know, we think we're going to hit. We hit what we, we aim. What is it that Zig Ziglar said? If you aim for nothing, you'll hit it every time. Well, whatever you aim for, you're going to hit that every time as well. <laughs> you know, it's so true. It, call it the law of attraction. Call it whatever you want. That's how we are. So do a $1,000 launch, do a $10,000 launch, do a $100,000 launch, whatever. The numbers don't matter. The numbers don't matter. The important thing is you pull the trigger soon. Set a date. 
set a date, lock it in, commit to launch. You're going to launch on that date no matter what. Launch no matter what. Launch if you're ready. Launch if you aren't. Launch if you're sick, if you're tired, whatever. If you wait until you're guaranteed success, guess what? That day will literally, or as Chris Ducker would say, literally never come. That day's never going to come. So launch when you're ready, launch if you're not. And if you want to see an example, you want to get an inside look at how a first-time affiliate launch goes, how it's done well, go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash Scott. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash S-C-O-T-T. I did a launch recap with Scott Barlow after his first affiliate launch. Now, this is not a lesson on how to do a seven-figure launch. We've got a course on that. It's called Seven Figure Affiliate Launch. This is not seven-figure affiliate launch. This isn't even six-figure affiliate launch. This is first-time affiliate launch, and it was a very successful first launch. I'm telling you, this was very successful for a first launch. The numbers don't matter. He did it. He did it. You know what, Scott? If you're listening, and I think you might be, you did it, and that, that's the number one thing that matters. So, mattmcclaims.com forward slash Scott, S-C-O-T-T, read all about it. It's your time to launch. It's your time to launch. So get out there and do it, whether you're ready or not. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.